Hello again. You're watching uh, the second hour of the Monday edition of the Midday View on ENC ATS TV Channel 403. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, two ESCOM employees and a supplier have been arrested and charged with theft, fraud, and corruption. The arrest is related to the disappearance of spares at the Tutuga power station, valued at hundreds of millions of rand. ESCOM says it has also uncovered an oil crime syndicate, which it accuses of stealing approximately 100 million rand worth of oil per month from the same plant. Well, those arrested have now been released on 5,000 rand bail each. Let's talk a little bit more about this problem and just uh, find out about the extent of it. I'm joined by Glenda Faye Paul. She's a senior financial crime investigator at IRS Forensic Investigations. Glenda, good afternoon. Thank you very much for, for, for joining us. Uh, uh, besides being a forensic investigator, uh, you've made comments recently about this particular ESCOM case on, on social media. Just remind us, what is the position you are taking on this for some of our viewers who may not have seen your very interesting statements you've made? So on Friday, ESCOM released a, um, a media statement um, basically um, advising the public that um, two staff members were arrested as well as a supplier was arrested and um, subsequently charged and released on bail in connection specifically with the theft of um, tools and, um, um, and the fuel theft uh, and amounting to about 100 million uh, rand. So um, I saw that and then on Sunday there was a... Um, a second media release in connection to the load shedding that was um, that basically warned the public that we were uh, we were about to hit stage two load shedding during the course of this week, and I put the two statements together and I was really concerned that such a huge theft of spare parts as well as uh, fuel had gone missing and uh, these particular suspects were released on bail on fi of 5,000 rand. And as a member of the public, this was very concerning for me. I wanted to understand why the suspects that stood charged of some serious, um, uh, serious charges were released on such a small amount of bail. Yeah, I mean, you look at 100 million oil uh, fraud uh, uh, per month, eh? according to what ESCOM has said. And you look at, this, uh, at the theft of hundreds of millions of rands worth of spare parts, and then these people are arrested and they get out on 5,000 rand bail. Yeah, I, I would understand uh, uh, that concern. As a, I mean, you are an investigator after all, uh, a forensic investigator. What about this would be concerning? What about it would be concerning? Is it the amounts or is it the fact that these things are happening and now, as I speak to you, we're now sitting at stage four of power cuts? Uh, the thing that concerned me was that they mentioned a criminal syndicate that's involved specifically with um, uh, the media release on Friday. And... I think um, as, a, um, as a forensic investigator, um, when you think of a criminal syndicate, you immediately um, think of uh, a number of individuals that are implicated. In fact, the, the, the release actually says that it was three individuals that were charged and released on bail, and the supplier and the two staff members, and then speaks of uh, an additional four suspects that are yet to be arrested and face charges in court. Now, if you have to release uh, uh, members of a syndicate on such a small amount uh, of bail, do, do those members, do they have contacts with each other? Do they have access to the money that was um, supposedly stolen? And how can, can they use that, uh, that access to those funds to continue with these type of shenanigans that can affect the national uh, power grid? Who's failing who here? The criminal justice system is failing us because uh, from what the point is, they are the one, it's a court that sets the, the amount of bail, or ESCOM that has not made a very strong case against the release of members of a criminal syndicate who are milking Tutuga dry, allegedly, according to ESCOM. How, how would you, uh, where would you apportion the blame here? 
I'm not um, uh, off fair with, with the court proceedings in this particular manner, matter, but I was, um, so I wouldn't be able to, to speak from a, an empirical point of view um, in respect of the bail, um, uh, bail conditions and what mitigated the release of these suspects on such a small amount of bail. Um, but in this particular aspect, uh, uh, the media statement is very specific in that it says that there were months of investigation that led to these, uh, this arrest. Um, so I don't know where the blame, uh, where, whether you can okay. uh, play the blame game here, but if you take into consideration the situation that you, we find ourselves, we currently in stage four load shedding, um, it's very concerning that these particular um, individuals are, are, were released on um, on such a, a small bail amount. It's very, very concerning. Okay, thank you very much, Eklenda, for your time and explaining why you put those statements, your views on social media about this. And now we're sitting at stage four. I mean, it's a very serious issue. Hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions of rands worth of oil and spare parts stolen from Tutuka power station. There's a criminal syndicate, a crime syndicate, rather, that's operating. Five people are arrested or three people are arrested and two, the supply and support. And they get a bail of 5,000 rand each. So how serious are you taking this matter? So you just don't know. For me, besides being concerning, it's very disappointing indeed.